everybody, it's your boy Jack here. Welcome to the 4 Minute Film Reviews. Today in this episode, I'm going to be talking about Star Wars, The Last Jedi. Uh, if you haven't seen a 4 Minute Film Review, I break down one film, which is Star Wars, The Last Jedi, for today. Along with that, I break down what uh, I break down four different points. Each point should get a minute, therefore constituting a 4 Minute Film Review. So yeah, I'm really excited to talk about it. So let's dive into it. Point number one, the sound design in this film is freaking amazing. Um, um, Oh, what I love about this is like this film has so much trouble and so much challenges because it, it goes everywhere. Uh, there's so many different scenes and so many different sequences, but that's something that's just so great about this film. Although it goes everywhere, whether you're whether you're in Octu or you're in the casino area, um, like in Canto Bight, you get these really great like authentic sounds and like you get a really good idea of sound design. Now, for those of you who don't know what sound design is, I'm gonna link um, a video of by Nerdwriter down below. He'll explain it. It's a good video. But it, it's just really great. You get a really good idea of the universe itself, how um, how everything works there. Uh, overall, I was really happy with it. I think it was just epic because it's like you get a really good idea where you are, the sounds that are going on behind you, and it's just awesome. And these subtle cues of the score and how they're inputted in there with the different themes. So yeah, that's what that's the first point that I like about this film. Let's dive into point number two. Point number two, the Kylo and Rey relationship in this film was really interesting. I liked it. Um, I think it was a really great pairing to be had. You have Rey who's just sort of like on her own, like her family didn't really give a f about her. Then you got Kylo who's like, he, he is like hella famous because of his like dad and even though he killed his dad. And his mom because his mom's like sort of like um, general or whatever of the opposing side. But like, I think it was just awesome seeing the relationship that both of them had. Um, Ray, like more specifically, the um, that whole storyline leading up to the throne room scene, amazing. Just epic. Um, I think it was just awesome to see the two different sides of, um, of the, um, of, like, of both of them, but their storylines and how they're sort of similar to each other, and I like how they sort of paired them up, so both of them are sort of similar to each other. So yeah, that's what I liked about it. That thrown in scene besides is just freaking epic. So, point number three, Laura Dern's character. I didn't like her. I didn't like um, Laura Dern's portrayal of um, Admiral Amelin Haldo because I just felt her character came out of left field and it's like, wait, why should I be trusting her? Uh, and it was just like, like um, they built such a great base of a lot through a lot of these characters in the first film that I felt like it was just um, like th in the second film it was just re I didn't like it that. Um, Poe didn't have, like, although he's trying to have authority, he didn't really have a lot of authority. In contradiction, like, or, or like, in, in, con in contrast, um, John Boyega's character, Finn, didn't really have a lot of authority, and it was just, like, the Rebellion is, like, a hundred people, yet we are going to trust somebody who came directly out of left field? Like, I get it, she killed herself, and, like, a self-protecting, like, um, like, to protect everybody else, but it was just, like, you just sort of came out of nowhere, why should I be trusting you still? Point number four, I felt this film was visually stunning and that's what I loved about this film. The attention to detail to a lot of these visuals were really well done and I liked it. Yeah, I'm not, like, I'm gonna leave out the porgs and stuff because, like, those were a bit more, like, technical and stuff, but I really did like this film because of the, the how stunning it was visually. You, you Whether you have the Canto, uh, the Canto Bite scene or you have the, um, battle on Crate, which was amazing, just seeing it go out and, like, the whole attack sequence where it starts off white and then the whole area becomes red and it was just an amazing sequence to be had and I loved it because of that. Overall, like, I just felt like, um, this, this Star Wars is just amazing because of the different places that you go and, like, how much attention to detail they have for that. Um, it, like, one notable one that I really liked was, um, during the throne room scene, seeing the whole ship behind them, like, um, like, just all the, like, different shades of grey and, like, seeing the ship itself was just awesome. So, yeah, let's dive into the conclusion. 
So, to conclude, that is my four minute film review on the Star Wars The Last Jedi. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Jack Skinner. Feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you want to see another four minute film review, you can check it up in the card. I talked about Thor and Mortar on the Orient Express. I plan on talking about a bunch of other movies that are coming out. Besides that, though, thank you so much for watching this one. Let me know what you think about Star Wars The Last Jedi down below in the comments. Along with that, feel free to hit the like button or the dislike button, button whatever works. Besides that, thank you so much for watching. My name's Shaq, and you have a good night. Bye!